So let's talk about the most relaxing and calm part of being an indie author. Your book launch. It's not calm. <laughs> it's chaotic. There's so much going on. It's very social and it can be difficult for many of us who are introverts to manage. However, I am going to give you a huge tip on how to calm it down and make it organized and make it easy. And that is hiring some help for your launch. We're gonna talk about how to find a virtual assistant for you as an indie author. Now, as indie authors, we have seasons. So we have our writing time, which is very solitary. Uh, there's, we don't need a lot of help. Uh, and then there are launches. When I was a publishing coach, at times I had graphic artists and copywriters and editors and social media managers and assistants, etc. cetera, um, which is great. However, that's incredibly expensive uh, and if you have a staff, then you are responsible for them year round. Virtual assistants, on the other hand, uh, can be hired as needed. So some of the tasks uh, that I have assigned my new virtual assistant, uh, and she's been working for me for a couple of weeks now and has done so much, uh, are compiling my press list. So I had a list of about 50 publications that I wanted to reach out to and uh, my assistants, actually, I can tell you a little bit about the two assistants that I, that I hired. They compiled a list of all of the uh, book section editors or critics or uh, lifestyle and arts editors that fit with the pitch for my story got all those names, email addresses, and uh, completed a press list for me. It would have taken me five times, six times, ten times as long to be able to compile it. I am amazed uh, that within a couple of hours I have a, uh, a just an excellent press list for my press releases. Other things that I plan to have uh, my assistants do is uh, organize my social media schedule. Uh, schedule my posts. I have the posts basically written out, but uh, and I have style guides and templates, but they're going to combine those and make posts for uh, daily engagement for my launch. They're going to reach out to my street team and tell them that a launch is coming up and uh, manage the Facebook group and emails for that, uh, as well as scheduling podcasts, uh, keeping track of the press releases and following up, uh, keep, keep, keeping track of my speaking schedule, uh, planning my launch party, signings, etc. I have purchased through the service I'm using uh, 20 hours per month and I uh, have a three month lead time on my launch and that is an adequate amount of time for my assistants to do all that needs to be done to prep for uh, my August 8th release of my book Zone Trip. However, I, I could certainly buy more and I want to tell you as an indie author that, you know, you need to watch your budget. I mean, <laughs> the miraculous work and excellent skills that uh, my assistants have shown, uh, it, you know, is tempting me to, to buy a bunch more hours. However, you need to, um, you know, uh, keep within your budget. You don't want to way outspend, um, you know, the amount that you're going to make in the first year on a book that you're launching uh, by, you know, racking up the hours. Uh, so just <laughs> keep your head and uh, stick with, uh, you know, 10 to 40 hours per month. The amount of uh, money that I am paying for my assistance is $35 per hour. That is a pretty standard rate. Uh, that is uh, what I would pay um, assistants that were uh, contractors uh, for my previous company. Um, it, they are generalists. However, I do find that they are highly skilled 
more so than generalists, they're specialists in many different areas. Um, really, I'm just thrilled with the quality of the work. So before I found the subscription-based service, I, uh, I tried Upwork, I tried Fiverr, I reached out to other authors that uh, I had worked with or in my writing community and circle, and I did get some leads. However, the amount of time it takes to look at resumes, check out portfolios, uh, you know, uh, interview, train, find time tracking. It would have taken me probably, you know, a month out of the three months that I have to get uh, the right assistant and get them up and running. So I started looking for a service that I heard of and, and you know, and I could not find it. I think it's out of business or I might have just imagined it, but there was a something called like Red Butler or something like that. Well, I, I, I couldn't I couldn't find that website. However, when I searched, uh, time, etc. came up at the top of the list. It had excellent reviews and uh, they had a free hour of uh, VA services uh, and I could not resist. So <laughs> it was no credit card. Uh, you can get a free hour of work done. Uh, so I signed up and they assigned me uh, my first assistant, Jackie. Uh, she started on my press list and she made such headway on it that I was just blown away. So I signed up for the service and the next thing that happened is I got a onboarding specialist, I think her name was Kirsty, and she um, really charted my whole, uh, you know, day to day. Uh, I told her that I have periods of time when I, uh, I don't need an assistant and there's periods of time when I need a lot of hours. Uh, that I don't have recurring tasks, I have one of tasks, uh, and I would um, I know how to manage and assign those. Uh, that I used Trello, that I used Slack, uh, that I preferred communicating by messaging and not so much by phone. Occasionally Zoom, etc. And she took that all into account, and they you know jumbled it all together, and then assigned me to a uh, a account manager. Joe, and then Joe went out to the pool of VAs that they had and uh, found a, a, a great match. Uh, hi there, I'm Jillian. I'm a musician and an artist myself, and I'm so excited to get to work with you. I've always wanted to, you know, be able to help other artists on their journey. So, so uh, the fit was amazing, and she is incredibly skilled. Um, her writing ability to um, write openings and introductions for pitches just blew me away. Uh, no typos, perfect of, you know, really compelling, convincing, uh, funny, and, uh, you know, she has graphic design skills. Uh, again, this is all for $35 an hour, so um, just amazing. Uh, and, um, you know, she can work within my time frame. If I purchase and what I can afford is uh, 20 hours per month, then she can take on other clients. Or when I'm writing and I don't need a VA, again, you know, there are always in the management system for this company, clients and tasks to be worked on. So uh, it works for everyone. These are my priorities for every day, writing, audiobook. I'm trying to get the audiobook done by August 8th. I'm doing a tarot deck as well, and I might have you help with that at some point. It's AI generated, so um, that's that. YouTube, I'm trying to get out two a week. Totally miserably failing it. <laughs> now, if you haven't worked with an assistant before, you might be um, a little hazy about uh, how to train them and onboard them and get them used to your processes, etc. cetera. Uh, I had a lot of experience with that, but again, with the time etc service if you're not used to it they have training for you uh so they have webinars they have uh, live specialists they have you know email um, sequences that teach you how to uh to communicate with your vas how to assign tasks um how to use the the software um, that is their interface and really just general productivity tips uh, and, um, you know, tips uh, on working with the team across the board. Uh, I didn't utilize that. Again, I wanted to get right into it. I knew what I needed done and, you know, how much time it would take, etc. 
uh, and they also really much catered to that. They said, okay, well, we're not, we're going to turn off all of these daily email reminders and, and et cetera. We can tell from your work patterns that you're busy and you know what you're doing and you don't need all this extra stuff. And so they, they volunteered to turn it off. Uh, which again was just amazing. They matched me with the perfect assistant. They they were able to monitor our workflow and my communication to um, be able to uh, just adjust it uh, to give me the most effective package and most efficient time use. Uh, also for passwords. So if I had hired somebody directly or even through Fiverr or Upwork, uh, you know, sh you know, with a VA, you're going to be sharing a lot of passwords for, you know, your Google uh, pro uh, document management or your emails or um, really everything. Um, so uh, there are packages like uh, LastPass, Time, etc. uses uh, Vault, I think, which is a enterprise solution. Uh, however, these securely share sensitive data and passwords through encryption where the assistants can log on and do the work that they need to do for you without you revealing, uh, you know, passwords that you probably use for like your bank account in <laughs> Canva and your bank account. You know, we, how do we remember hundreds of passwords? You know, I think most of us you have a few that they use. So these solutions through the interface for uh, time, etc., cetera, uh, allow you to share uh, sensitive information securely. So you may be wondering, uh, am, do, am I an affiliate for, for time, etc.? No, no, I'm just blown away by it. I've only been using the service for a couple of weeks. This is not a paid endorsement or anything like that, but having a virtual assistant for my launch is amazing. It, I am so much more calm. I'm so much more organized. You know, I was really freaking out because this book launch was very important to me and I had a lot of things to do. Uh, plus, you know, I'm working on the next book, of course. Uh, and, um, you know, doing the writer life type stuff. Uh, and so if I were to focus on all of these tasks like press releases and social media and recruiting for launch teams and speaking engagements, et cetera, scheduling them, et cetera, I, I wouldn't be able to, to work, you know, on the next book concurrently with my launch. Um, so it is revolutionary. I highly recommend hiring a VA um, and getting matched to the right one for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this topic. The next video is going to be on uh, forming your writing community if you haven't done so. So that's writing buddies and mentors and clubs and uh, those types of things. In the comments below, tell me if you've ever hired an assistant and what your experiences have been. Pros and cons. Uh, was it easy? Are there any horror stories? Uh, you know, I have had mixed experiences with all sorts of different types of uh, assistance and support, uh, but this current experience is phenomenal. I uh, have gone from uh, just stressed out and panicked to totally on track for my release date and everything is falling into place. Hope you enjoyed that video. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.